Hey, what's up folks? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the AMD Radeon RX Vega 56 graphics card. Now, this card came out a couple of weeks ago, and we've been testing it ever since its launch date. And what I want to do specifically is actually do another head-to-head -head comparison between an AMD and an NVIDIA card, most suitably the GTX 1070, which is very, very popular right now. So firstly, let's talk about the price point. And now currently, all of the AMD are RX Vega series of GPUs are being retailed for a significantly higher price than the manufacturer's suggested price range. That's mainly due to the fact that AMD was kind of inaccurate with its pricing initially and kind of oversold the more economical price tag. And currently for most retailers to turn some sort of profit, they have to up the price point to around above $100 over its initial MSRP. So right now, uh, most of the Vega 56 cards are being uh, sold for around $500 US. And for the GTX 1070, since it's been around for quite some time and it's fairly aggressively uh, priced right now, you can pick one up a uh, brand new for around the $400, $50 mark. So, which is definitely uh, very good to see. So in most cases, you're going to typically find the GTX 1070 for a lower price point. So that's something to keep in mind when we take a look at the actual specification breakdown of both these two GPUs. Uh, the reason why the Vega 56 is called a 56, it's actually a 64, but it only has uh, 56 compute units, giving it a total stream processor count of 3,585. And uh, in terms of uh, texture units, you're looking at 224 and about 64 render output units. On the 1070, uh, most of the cards are going to have uh, 1920 CUDA cores, about 120 texture mapping units, Units and about 64 render output units. In terms of TDP, the Vega 56 is a little bit more power hungry than the GTX 1070 at 210 watts versus 150 watts. The uh, GPU clock speed is always going to vary depending upon card to card, but you can see our uh, tested cards clock speed uh, located on the charts right over here. And in terms of memory, we have high bandwidth uh, memory version 2.0 on the Vega 64 and 56 card, giving a total video memory of about 8 gigabytes, the same as the NVIDIA counterpart, but we have a much larger memory bus and bandwidth, about 2048 bit and 410 gigabytes a second, respectively. Versus on the 1070, we have a 256 bit bus with a 256.3 gigabytes a second in terms of memory bandwidth. Now, just uh, for fun facts, if you want to know the transistor count, we have a uh, 12.5 billion on the RX 56 versus 7.2 billion on the GT. X1070. Now, in terms of actual gaming performance, uh, using Time Spy's graphics score uh, benchmark results are stated right over here. So, on the Vega 56, we got a total graphics score about uh, 6258 versus 5745 on the GTX 1070. Keep in mind, these are the stock frequencies, uh, no real tweaking done to the GPU clock in terms of any kind of overclock settings. Now, that being done, let's actually take a look at some real world gaming benchmark results at three different different resolutions, including full HD, quad HD, and ultra HD. So I'm going to stop talking and you guys can take a look at the results for yourself.
Now to sum up the uh, gaming benchmark results, you can see in pretty much every scenario, the Vega 56 is the faster card compared to the GTX uh, 1070. That being said, at the price point that the Vega cards are going for, it's probably not worth it uh, compared uh, to the 5 to 12% performance increase that you get in each uh, different title. Uh, of course, as the pricing of the Vega lineup becomes more stabilized and more economical, uh, that might may change in the future but currently if you had to pick between the two cards for the price point you cannot beat the gtx 1070 even though the vega is the faster card but definitely love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below check out the links in the description for all the detailed information about everything we talked about big thanks to you guys for watching our videos and continuing the support uh, couldn't make this happen without all that love and support give us a thumbs up again if you like this video and we'll see you next time take care